Hello again, Fizzles family and friends. This is the daily pastoral message for Friday, August 7th. I'm coming to you again from Gettysburg, from the Soldiers National Cemetery in Gettysburg. Behind me over here is the base of the Soldiers National Monument, which sits in the center of the arc of the graves of those who lost their lives fighting here in the Battle of Gettysburg, the Union dead who were buried here. And in the background are the lovely beautiful South Mountains to the west of Gettysburg. My reading for today is the 23rd Psalm, which has been a source of comfort for people for decades, in fact, for centuries, including those who fought here in Gettysburg and those who lost their lives here. I am sure that many of the men who are buried here heard those comforting words in their last days or their last moments, perhaps read by a comrade, perhaps read by a nurse or a chaplain. And those words continue to provide us solace even to today and into the future. I'll be reciting using the words of the King James Version because that is the version that would have been familiar to the troops fighting in the Civil War. The 23rd Psalm was included in the prayer books that were passed out to troops on both sides of the conflict. And so if they hadn't memorized it, they certainly would have been able to read it as they went to bed at night, praying for another day that God would be watching over them. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I look forward to sharing a message with you tomorrow and then joining together for our outdoor worship on Sunday. Please remember to keep those who are affected by the viral pandemic in your prayers as well as those within our congregation who are having health issues. We try to keep the congregation updated through email uh, of our prayer list and of specific prayer requests. If you have a loved one who is in need of prayers, please call the office, let Linda know, and she will send that word out. Until we talk again tomorrow, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. And I know the Lord who is our Savior, and our shepherd is continuing to watch over and to bless us all. Goodbye for now.